Cockwood and Melbourne have always sufficient interest in them to stir even the most casual supporter of either club. The two teams fought out some titanic struggles in the halcyon days of the 1950s and 60s, and the rivalry hasn't stopped there, even if Melbourne's claim to be a VFL power is no longer taken too seriously. This year, the Magpies have beaten North Melbourne and Geelong, even though last week at Cadinia Park they did give the Cats some 25-point start. Melbourne, too, got off to a promising start at round one with a win over Fitzroy, but fell in a very big heap against Hawthorne last Monday. Today was Collingwood's first home match for the year, and they went to it very warm favourites, having won their last four games against the Demons. Tonight, we pick up the play at the 10-minute mark of the third quarter, and with me in the commentary box is former Collingwood skipper Lou Richards. 65 plays, uh, 78, a short pass. It goes for pass out wide, it'll be all right, and the mark taken here by Healy. Healy at half back. Gives a hand pass back. Hughes is up into a good tackle by Moore. What a great tackle. And Collingwood go back into attack up there. Woods Dixon got a hand to it. Now it's grabbed by Dacus. Turns. Goes for pass for Taylor. Taylor's got it right on the boundary. And good play on the part of Dacus. But this is a very difficult shot. Going for goal number six, Taylor. There's no doubt about it. He's made a difference with the Collingwood forward line this year. Certainly has. But they're still... Trailing by 13 points, he's gone for a pass. Oh, it's a shocker. It's Dixon coming out now. A step at goal by Shaw and it's smothered and the ball is out of bounds. Good play by the Melbourne defence. Just on the 11-minute mark of this, the third quarter, and Collingwood trailing by 13 points. Well, it's always wise after the event, but I would have thought Taylor would, would have been better off having a shot. Knocked away by Peter Moore. Shark by Dacos. He does it well. Shrugs the tackle. White in pursuit. Dacos shoots it. Goal! It's close, it's just about there. Great shot from Dacos. Dacos is second, and Collingwood come closer to within seven points. 11-5-71 to 11-12-78. Well, I think the big question is, uh, Peter, whether Collingwood can wear them down or not. Knocked out again, grabbed by Dacos. He was grabbed, but shrugged his opponent up beautifully. And that's a magnificent left foot snap from, uh, for goal from the boundary line, Peter. Great shot by Dacos. One of the goals of the day here at Victoria Park. There have been some gems. Dacos 2, Richardson 2, and uh, Dixon 2 for Collingwood. 71 to 78 in favour of Melbourne. A crackerjack game of football here. Richardson puts Collingwood into attack again. The Magpies once again get it out of the circle. Reigns going through beautifully. Smith, has he been moved? Could he score a goal? I think he has! Goal! Play by Craig from the centre mount. Beautifully to Richardson. 11 12 to 12 5. Melbourne by a point. It was a great knockout by Clark at the centre bounce. You watch it again. Right down the throat of Richardson. Quickly plays on. The ball finally down there. Tapped on by Dacos. A great pick up by Reigns. A hand pass to Smith coming down. I think he may be playing on the forward line now. Seven's big league from Victoria Park. Twelve and a half minutes gone. And the ball hits the deck. Oh, fumble that time by Maud. He's got a chance to recover. Can't get clear. Cloak comes in to help. I don't care how well Moore's played, but Cloak played a damn good game here too. Been a very helpful player to his smaller men. Centre bounce again. And the difference, only one point. Cloak gets a kick out there to Banks, fumbles, he's in trouble, a hand pass comes back to Williams, steps the ball over to Cloak. Finally it's picked up by Johnson, now Melbourne away into attack. He's in a bit of trouble. It's a bad kick, it comes back here now, Batterston picks it up. Drives the ball out wide, it'll be okay. It's marked by Healy. So Melbourne bouncing back all the time. Collingwood can't get closer than that point. He's well within kicking distance. He's already kicked one. He'd only be about uh, 35 metres out. Mullane on Wilson. Mullane on Wilson. Took Collingwood about two and a half hours to think that one up. There's the kick. Not coming around enough, so the difference is now two points. As we're just over the 13 and a half, 13 and a half minute mark of this the third quarter.